Okay, the next one would be inking and like um vector layers. So Krita, if you haven't watched my previous video on this topic, um Krita doesn't have vector layers. So you can only deal with raster types of lines, but there is still some like workarounds that you can do to kind of still have a relatively flexible workflow when you're inking your drawings. So for one, when I draw a line, I can still like change its width by using some of the distortion tools. So let's search for distort. So you can see here, there are three ones mainly. So these are the default ones. You can shrink it and you can also make it grow. So you, you also, of course, this isn't like made for like specifically for inking, but you can like change the settings over here to make it a bit more friendly for line art. But yeah, you can still like change the line after drawing it. So what I recommend is if you're like planning on changing a line after you draw it, make sure you're um, drawing it first on a new layer. That way, um, when you're changing a certain part of it, say I made it this line and I want this part to be thicker, I go to grow then make this a bit bigger like that and you can see it's not affecting the other line that i've made because it's in it's in its own layer so that's a workaround you can also move it um, if things get a bit wonky you can adjust this something like this like that but of course um it can only do so much so right now i'm having these kind of weird artifacts and it's getting a bit blurry so yeah it's not perfect you can still do quite a bit with these types of tools then if you really want to have like complete control over the line, you can also go to the assistant tool. So you can go over here on the assistants and it's kind of like the rulers in Clip Studio Paint. So here we have rulers, right? And you can have like a curve ruler. So it's kind of something like this. It's basically the same thing. Um, so instead of having curve ruler, we have the spline, the spline assistant. And what that will do is kind of do the same thing. You can also change this a bit if you want. Then um, when you're drawing your line, you can go over here to the tool options and make it snap to assistance. Then it's gonna snap there no matter what. So there's that. You can also like change the pen pressure while you're being magnetized to this part. So I'm gonna make it thick and thin, thick again, then thin, then thick. So I can still definitely control my brush pressure while I'm like drawing this line. So there's that. Then if you want to remove it, you can just go back to the assistant tool, then click this icon here. Of course, there are other assistants over here. Like there's also like a ruler. There's also two paint perspective. So quite similar to Clip Studio Paints. Um, there's also infinite or parallel. The ellipse is interesting. Also the concentric ellipse. So what this will do is you can create an ellipse of any size and it will follow the same degree of that ellipse so i can just make bigger and bigger circles and it will follow the original like degree of the ellipse that i made but you know just different sizes so yeah there's that so yeah i think that's about all i can cover for now without like being too complicated or too specific about things if you do have any more questions about you know transitioning into krita from clip studio paint and all that stuff um you can do so by just you know copying commenting down your question below on the video and also of course if you made it this far and um enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one bye bye